someone who may not be able to do it on their own feels a little more comforted knowing that they can bring their loved one with them and they can have this experience together because oftentimes experiences are better when shared. Shared experiences are better. They are like dancing or singing Islands in the Stream at karaoke or eating spaghetti like Lady in the Tramp. Growing up in the dirt and clay on a potato farm in southern Idaho, Shea Woodhouse had dreams of opening her own pottery studio. Well, that dream became a reality when almost three years ago, Shea opened up Clay Collective on State Street in Boise. And now she's turned her love of pottery into a potential love story for others. Photojournalist John Mark Crum takes us to date night at the Clay Collective. I love love. I, I say that a lot. I love seeing people love each other. Do you remember when we fell in love? This is date night. Thank you. Welcome to date night. It's basically Valentine's Day every Friday in here. So we're working with a speckled stoneware. We wanted to have a fun little date. We have two kids and it's kind of hard to get out. Day night started when I opened Clay Collective. Half that ball into the shape of a potato. So I've been working with Clay for 16 years. Whenever anyone is like, what do you do for a living? And I say, I'm a potter, or I work with Clay. People automatically, the first thing they say is, like ghost? And there's the scene in the movie Patrick Swayze I, it comes in behind her and puts his hands on her hands and helps her to make this piece that's actually collapsing the whole time. <laughs> I hope it wasn't a masterpiece. But they're together in this really intimate moment with their hands all dirty on top of each other and it's very like, it's a sexy scene. And it's iconic for people. Creating a ghost-like atmosphere for people is Relatable, comical, it's cute. It's fun to, yeah. you know, do something out of the norm. But sometimes we'll have two friends going on a date together. We'll have a mom and a daughter going on a date together. I didn't know what we were doing or where we were going, but he knew. Like, we both tried to friend zone each other, but it just, like, never really worked, so. Exactly. I think we both realized, like, I don't know, our lives were a lot better when we were actually, like, talking and hanging out. Yeah. Oh shoot, oh, there goes that. Witnessing hundreds of people on a date. Happy little mistake. I just love it when I see couples laugh together. <laughs> if you can find someone who you're comfortable being vulnerable around and you can laugh through something that's uncomfortable, that's pretty special and um, irreplaceable even. Oh, yeah, yeah, just... <laughs> My main mission is to help people feel good. Feel good about themselves. Feel better about themselves. Feel confident within themselves. Kind of why I open my doors to people. The Righteous Brothers, come on now. This is the song. Happy Valentine's Day. Well, as you heard Shay say, date night is every Friday throughout the year, but there's a date night marathon starting tonight. It lasts through the rest of the week in honor of Valentine's Day. There's only one class left this Sunday coming up at 6. The rest of the week sold out, so it's pretty popular, but you can enjoy, as I said, every other Friday throughout the rest of the year. Shay says you don't need to be creative at all to experience all that she has to offer.